Pretty cool air curtain. That's so cool to see. Sixty-five degrees. running <laughs> it's not running that one's running so more than likely that's our bad guy let's see what we find all right guys first thing we're going to do is we're going to chip power here so we're going to go to the load side of the disconnect I call it the load side. I'm not sure if there's a proper term. 211. I'm going to go to 1 and 3. And then I feel like a retard filming. 212. And then between 2 and 3. 210. So we got power coming in. Let's come over here on this side. See what's going on. Please do not call me J.I. You know who I'm talking about. Fucking sits down on every service call. All right, let's see what's going on here. I can see this contact is pulled in. Let's see if I can light that up for you guys. See, the contact is pulled in. Clock says we're in refrigeration mode. Let me start looking into this, guys. All right, guys. I found a problem, but uh, we haven't even hooked up gauges to it yet. So I exposed the terminals right there. And let me see if I could do this one-handed without freaking creating a shock here. So the compressor is getting voltage. 210 and it is getting it across all three legs and then this touch this compressor and it's hot this compressor is off on overload guarantee you that still doesn't tell me why my condenser fans aren't running maybe the condenser fan motor is bad it caused this to go out so let me remove this top panel and uh, get in there to check that condenser fan motor in there but we do have power to the compressor compressor is off on overload though Looks like we found our issue. So I decided to um, unplug the motor. See right here, I got my leads. I'm going to the motor itself. And we have a good motor. Um, now we need to check this capacitor. If this capacitor checks out and this motor checks out, only thing stopping this motor from running is this fan cycle switch. So we'll come back and check this one, but we also need to get this compressor cooled off so that we can know if, if this fan's kicking on or not. So let's check capacitor, cool this down, and then we'll be able to check this once it runs. Everything else seems to be calling right now, so we should be all right. All right, guys, I went and spoke to the manager downstairs, grabbed a bag of ice. So we're gonna cool this compressor down. Um, I could, put my leads across two of these and put it on continuity until it closes but since um, I already know that that's the case I'm not going to I'm just gonna wait for it to close and then this guy's open and this is why it's open so we're only at about 145 pounds 140 pounds and this is set to cut in at about 250 so that's why this is open so we're gonna see what's going on once we cool it down we're gonna see if uh, we're low on charge or if this guy's just not closing um, but I have a feeling that's why uh, that's why this compressor overheated it's either gonna be low on charge or or that fan motor is not kicking on 
So we'll give it a few minutes. We've got the capacitor exposed. We're just gonna go straight off of the meter. Um, so we got 3.8 microfarads. This is a four microfarad capacitor. So this should be good. Um, yeah, we got about 3.8. So this motor will kick on. We just gotta make sure that uh, that cycle switch is actually telling it to kick on. All right guys, we got continuity. I lost my alligator clips for these leads. So I'm using a jumper. <laughs> Get But anyways, going off of the two leads right there and we looks like we got continuity. So we we'll just verify that this guy didn't, isn't causing it. continuity so, oh sorry gents let's go this way there you heard it there you go let me connect this compressor back up and we'll start it up see what's going on all right gents let's put this back in here all right so didn't take too long. Probably didn't need the ice. But we'll use it. So uh, let's turn this baby back on. See what happens. There she goes. There's the fan. that suction yep probably a bad pumper not pulling down head pressure is going up though wonder if it's got a bad uh, suction valve Yeah, that's why it's overheating. It's not moving any refrigerant. Before it overheats, uh, we're gonna verify, we're gonna do a pump down test. Uh, you can hear that. You can hear that compressor's probably bad. We're gonna see if we can pump it down. If we can't, you know it's a bad compressor. Uh, I need uh, this guy right here. That one. Right, so we got the liquid line closed. If this compressor is capable of uh, pumping down all the refrigerant through the compressor, to the condenser to the receiver then it's something else but let's find out yeah this compressor is already getting hot let's go ahead and put this back on there just for, uh, uh, just for good measure uh, all right let's go ahead and start let's go Nope, looks like she's not pumping anything down. That's why it's going off on overload. These compressors use the suction gas to keep cool and it ain't doing nothing. Nada. So since we closed it here, this uh, gauge should also be pulling down with this one. You can see the differential on both of them. There's compressor not doing anything so she's a goner ah, hold on there it goes 
Looks like it wants to do something. Going down slowly. There she goes. Off on. Who does the in No, not the, in not the internal. It's just a bad fucking compressor. So she's done. I'll go tell the manager, see if he wants to do this today or tomorrow morning. See what happens. Probably one of the best hats out there. And it has old glory on the back. So look at that. <laughs> so anyways, spoke to the manager. Um, they approved the repair, but since it is not a extreme priority, because all they have in there right now is liquor, um, they're gonna want us to do it tomorrow morning. So I already got the uh, compressor information and uh, we're gonna have to get a dryer and uh, we'll cut out this suction dryer. Uh, what is that? So we'll cut that out. Um, we don't need it. So yeah, we'll do the both dryers, do the compressor. Only thing is, is that I'm on call tonight, so I don't know if I'll be able to finish this repair tomorrow or, there, or if they'll send somebody else. But, um, that cool is not bad. So, uh, we'll see. If not, this will be the end of the video, gents. Thanks for watching.